So this is a much anticipated video for you guys. I have been wearing my second set of trays for three weeks now, which is a week longer than they typically uh, recommend for the plan. Um, if you're curious as to why I wore tray uh, two for an extra week, go back, check out our second video. Um, that explains it, um, explains it in detail. So uh, one question I wanted to answer before we get into tray three was uh, somebody asked about cost. The initial kit that has the molding trays um, and your, you know, kind of your starter kit, uh, that retailed online for I think around $100 and I got a discount code for 20% off, so it brought it down to around 80. The total cost was 1,900. Uh, the, uh, the gentleman that I spoke with when I did my plan um, kind of review uh, gave me $100 off if I signed up right there with them instead of you know, thinking about it and calling back. So um, I signed up there. So the kit was 18, or the, the total plan was 1,800. The initial uh, kit to get started was about 80. So um, jumping into, before we open tray three, let's kind of quickly discuss where we're at up until this point. So uh, the discomfort has been minimal. Uh, once I started getting to the end, kind of the last few days, I can definitely tell my teeth are shifting for sure because the trays, even though they still fit very, very well, I find myself when I talk, uh, it almost feels like there's air that gets into them. They don't fall off. They don't, you know, come out of place. They don't make me talk funny, but I can definitely tell that they've, you know, kind of loosened up, so to say, um, which to me means that my teeth have moved directly into where they should be. And so they don't fit as snugly, which I guess is a good sign. Um, one thing I've also noticed, um, my little orange hook that I use in the first video to show you guys how to pull them out. Um, I left that hook in Panama City when I went home to visit family before Hurricane Michael hit. I had my mom mail it back to me, but when the envelope got there, someone had opened the envelope and taken the hook out, which I thought was odd because what the heck would you need a hook for? Um, so I don't have my hook anymore. Um, the other thing that I, I talked to the, uh, the guy that did my plan with me was the hook never really fit into the carry case, uh, which was a bit frustrating because I like to carry the case and have the hook as well. So not, you know, having to carry them separate, I feel like the, the company could have done a little bit better job of making that fit into the case so that you don't have the chance of losing it. So I haven't had my hook, so I've basically used my fingers to pull them in and out, which at first was challenging, but as my teeth have moved, it's gotten a lot easier. Um, I have noticed a little bit of some discomfort on my tongue from the edge of the, the retainers, uh, likely just from my tongue hitting the edge and it being um, not sharp, but just you know a sharper edge than what I'm used to. Uh, some of the discomfort you know, on my tongue, the small cuts, it, it was a little uncomfortable for a few days, but um, wasn't anything excruciating and your mouth heals quickly anyway, so it didn't last for very long. So let's get into tray number three. So these are my third set. Um, I'm really excited to get into tray three because wearing the second tray for three whole weeks um, wasn't bad, but I just felt like, like I'm ready to move on. Like I'm ready to feel that change initially again. So uh, tray number three, put these in. Yep, there's that snug feeling again. <laughs> Okay, so definitely, <laughs> definitely back to having something in my mouth that is that is undoubtedly there. Um, I can hear the lisp kind of come back just a bit that has faded over the last couple of days, um, but it's definitely snug. Feels just like the first two. Not painful. I have a feeling that within the next day or so they will be sore, um, and that typically only lasts you know two to three days. So. Uh, tray three definitely snug, so there's no there's 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 no change in the you know the first day of the new tray so far, um, which is a good thing because I know that it's kind of like when you work out and you feel sore, you know you did something good kind of thing. Um, one thing outside I have also noticed, if you don't realize how much you need to brush your teeth, <laughs> wearing these things will definitely show it to you because I brush my teeth really really well, floss every day, sometimes a couple times a day. Um, and even still, when I pull those trays out, there's still some like tartar buildup, I guess it is, that you know you have to brush your, your, 
your trays, at least I do, a couple times a day just to make sure they stay clean. Um, you, if you go a day without brushing them, you can definitely tell. So um, it just kind of gives you some insight as to why it's so important to brush your teeth every day a couple times a day because that buildup happens so quickly. And sometimes even after you think your teeth are clean um, and you don't have anything to eat, sometimes there's still some stuff in there that, that you can, can clean off. So uh, tray three feels good, feels like it has been for the first couple. Um, so I'm expecting to uh, have a similar outcome for the next few days. If you have any other questions, ask in the comments below. I, I love getting some feedback from you guys um, and love being able to help you uh, help guide you towards possibly doing this as well. Uh, honestly, everyone I've talked to about it says that the cost is, is a, it's a tremendous value um, and that you know it's, it's dramatically less than what standard braces would be. Um, just make sure you follow the plan. And uh, if you have any questions, submit them below and we'll catch you in a couple weeks.